Okay, I'm doing it. All right, I think we're live. <laughs> I'll give it a couple of a couple of seconds here. So, like always, Robin is on the phone with me, and she will relay the chat to me. So, if you have any questions, please jump on in and uh, ask away. All right, and I'm just kind of waiting for her to make sure make. Sure, See that? I got just got confirmation. We are live. Welcome, everybody. So everybody can hear me fine. Audio's good. Picture's good. We're all good. All right. Um, first of all, thank you so much for joining in today. Um, just had an outstanding cast of makers all day long. Just some super cool stuff. Stuff. Uh, Zach just got finished up doing some cool resin stuff with the flowers, which was awesome. Um, so just, again, thank you guys so much. And a huge thank you to uh, Dale and Jamie for helping put all this together. And every other month we've been doing this, so having a blast with it. All right. Um, again, in the chat, if you have any questions, leave them in there. Robin will relay them to me, and I will just go ahead and keep working here and get busy. I'm going to do a, uh, kind of a lidded box, but I'm going to do this style. I did it, I don't know, probably six, eight months ago. I did one where it slides inside of each other. So I'm going to do another one of those. I had a lot of questions on that video. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and make one of those and work my way through it. Let me switch cameras and I will go ahead and get everything all set up. All right. So, go back to here. Let me get uh, everything moved over. And get going on this. All right. There we go. So, I have some walnut, and I'm going to use that. So, I have a piece here. So, this is going to be the body of the box are these two pieces here and one of these is going to slide inside of the other one so i have a, some sapwood on this one so i'm going to make this it's got a nice contrast to it and i'm going to make this the outside and this will be the inner sleeve it's just kind of plain by the time i turn it down it'll just be plain walnut so we'll have that be the outside and then i'm going to turn a maple burl lid for it all right Hang on, hang on one sec. I have to switch back. I have to move the camera a little bit. So that it's... All right, there. Uh, Brandon asks, what lathe and knives do I use? So I have the Robust lathe, and it's... Uh, made here in America and the as far as the chisels go I use Thompson is the gouges that I use and easy wood is the carbide that I use the warranty on this bad boy is seven years head to tail on everything but I will tell you this right now if you want one you're looking at 10 weeks out they are so whopped they cannot make them fast enough i think the jake i'm not making a clock and so another comment like that and jake jake will be banned well not banned but you just can't let it don't read his comments anymore He should. I think I've made a clock, right? Have I not made a clock? All right. I'm going to go ahead and use a roughing gouge, true this up, and then we'll start. Uh, I, it, this is just going to be a cylinder, and I'm going to use the Forstner bit to come in with it. But I'm going to use a roughing gouge here to knock the corners off real quick, and the lathe speed's at 2,000.
and just get it all down there. I'm going to bring this one down actually quite a bit smaller so that when I'm done with the other one, this one will go inside of it. going to be no at the SoCal uh, symposium no no we're not gonna not gonna be there I'm sorry Scott's gonna be one of the demonstrators that's awesome awesome Scott that is awesome Scott was on the on the uh, craft festival earlier today he made little boxes very cool All right, put this down. All right, now that I've got it basically the size size I want, but we need this actually trued up. So nice and even across there. Uh, what do I recommend for first time turners? Um, I first of all I recommend taking some classes or joining a local club that is probably your first first thing I would do it's you can watch a lot of videos but but actually being hands-on with somebody that knows what they're doing is is fantastic so I would find a local club and this is a skew skew right here and I wouldn't spend too much money, you know, on the first lathe or anything. Just kind of to see, make sure you you like it and you want to want to keep doing it before you 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 know go buy a lathe and a bunch of tools. How hard do you have to push the tool into the wood? I am not pushing very hard at all. All I'm doing is, is holding down on it, just nice and easy. I'm not not pushing it very hard at all just kind of keeping it flat on on the wood so I'm not putting a lot of pressure with really any of the tools I use so just like that just kind of light touch actually all right so now that we have that cylinder we're gonna stick it in the chuck and I'm gonna turn on the dust collector actually real quick so that we can get some of this walnut dust out of here all right pull this out of here knock this out and that's a spur center Yes, yeah, the AEW has clubs all over the country. They're, they're, um, they're not like AEW clubs per se, but they're, they're like, I guess, yeah, whatever she said, they're associated with them and they're all everywhere. So there's a lot of clubs around. All right. So I have that in there like that. Now we're going to take a Forstner bit and go down in there and hollow that out. Make it a lidded box. So this is going to be, we're actually doing a little different style where this is the inner, tu inner tube that's going to go inside of it and there'll be a tube that goes over the outside of it. Actually, I'm going to clean that up real quick because it's a, it's a little bit of an angle. And I want it nice and flat for the for the Forstner bit. You kind of see it wasn't wasn't flush. There we go.
the dust collector is not too loud. Everybody can still hear. I have the face shield on it, so it probably sounds like I'm Darth Vader or something. All right. So, and then for this right here, it completely depends on on uh, what size your the cylinder that you're using is. It so it really doesn't matter on the Forstner bit. You can make this much smaller. Um, it, this is just the size that I turned down to. So what I did was, you see there, I just left a little bit of room for the wall, uh, uh, the wall thickness, and just grabbed one of them. I don't don't know what size it is, but it'll be different on on each one of them. Oop. Uh, yes, uh, Jamie asked about the jaws on the chuck. Um, Yes, normally they're supposed to be, the closer you can get them to close, the better it is. But because I'm not actually turning this, I'm, it's it's done as far as the turning part of it goes. I'm, so I'm not putting any pressure on it. All I'm going to do is drill in with the Forstner bit. It really doesn't matter. Good question, Jamie. All right, I'm going to turn the lay speed down. We already have our center hole there. And I'm going to slowly crank it in. I have the lay speed running about, about 250, 300 RPM. And the Forstner bit is, this Forstner bit is bigger than the out here, so it's going to work out perfect to where this will actually just go inside of it. But if it wasn't, if you were doing a smaller one, you could use an extension on the Forstner bit. And that would work well too. Just go nice and slow with it so you, you don't create too much heat. Then when it starts to pack in there like that, pull it out and clean that out because you don't want to get that, that Forstner bit stuck in there. And then once it gets down to there to where it does start packing, just take a few turns on it and then back it out and pull it out and start over again. So you're cleaning it out. Just like that. Lock it back down. What was everybody's favorite uh, demo today? My, mine, I think, was Franco, but I kind of prejudiced against that. I, he makes the most delicious stuff. He made pretzels today. Jamie, Jamie was already picking on me earlier about the, about, uh, what was it? About, uh, only knowing one song. I can only sing one song. Whatever. Whatever, Jamie. Four and a half inches. So we're going to go down there four and a half inches. So four and a half inches is about three quarters of the way through the, through the chuck here.
Yes, Saturday morning cartoons is always awesome. Love that. They do a good job. Oh, the forging was awesome. They made <laughs> they made a um, little thing that heats up beer and um, my whole family was from Germany so Germans drink warm beer so it's right up my alley not that it, and this is gonna sound sound bad but I'm my family came over here to the United States in 1904 from Germany and I, I think I'm the only one in the family that hates beer I they pick on me all the time can't stand beer. How come oh, how come they don't get party whistles? We should probably we should probably come up with something besides party whistles for them. All right, got that all drilled out, so it's down there. Um, so what we'll do is measure that and mark it on the outside where the bottom is. Robin, do you want to come up with something that is uh, not party whistles? We should... Robin has something. She goes, I have this. What is this? It shouldn't be... Alright. Uh-oh, I think she's bringing it in. So the bottom is right there. And I'm going to go just mark it just under it just so I know where it's at and I'll flip it around and clean clean off the bottom of it oh Robin brought something in it's it's not a party whistle but there you go that's for Jake and Jamie <laughs> we'll have to get that out every time now is is there a uh, emoji in there for whatever what is that thing okay she said she won't be able to see what you're doing she, she can't find the emoji right now oh okay. all right well <laughs> we'll have to find that uh that emoji I think it's like a I think it's like a hand drum. All right, we'll we'll do it on Saturday morning cartoons next week. All right, so I got the bottom of it right there. Use the jaws to expand it. We'll put the live center back in. Get it all lined right back up. Expand these just a little bit. It's a Karate Kid fighting drum, right? <laughs> right? Wax on, wax off. All right. All right. So I'm just going to bring that around there and clean it up. Um, actually, yeah, I'll, I'll use this one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the lay speed up back up to 2000 and clean this up. And this is the number one hollow right here. And what I'm going to do is bring this down as far as I can before I have to pull the tailstock away. Oh, see, Scott, that would be perfect. You playing the hand drum and me singing, just sit right back and you'll hear a tale. We could do an acoustic version of Gilligan's Island. Um, I wonder if we could get on MTV Unplugged. Is that still a thing? I don't know if that's a thing anymore. 
Is MTV even still around? Alright. Now we'll go ahead and turn the lay speed down and sand this up real quick. We don't need to get crazy with it because it's going to be inside of it, but I do want to sand it up and, and uh, get some oil on it. Tighten it back up here real quick. Alright, got the dust collector on. Lay speed down. It's what somebody said it's it what do you mean M, Chris what do you mean MTV is not a thing it's not a thing anymore Ow. <laughs> wait MTV doesn't play music anymore it's MTV, it's music television. That's what the M and the T stand for. These crazy kids. They, they got to change the name. Oh, well that's not good. That's all they played was good music. From the 80s. The, the 80s were the best music, Tim. Alright. Alright, I'm going to put a little bit of oil on this thing. Let me do one more grit here real quick. Then we'll get some oil on it. And then we'll make the outer sleeve. Okay, so this is the, the part that's actually going. I, I barely heard what Robin said, but somebody said something about black and white TV, which is rude. Oh, Jamie, you're such a child. Black and white TV. I don't... Jamie's young. He probably doesn't need, probably never seen a black and white TV. You're Oh, don't get me started with the Metallica. Jamie, you know TV you actually used to end at the at night. It would like go off the air. Jay, Jake, don't don't do it. Robin just told me you're you're dissing uh, Star Trek. Don't make her mad. She'll take that drum away. Oh right, Jake. You better just try and make up for whatever it is you said, because. Uh, Zach, when we were down there, had a bunch of stuff he was he was uh, getting rid of, and he gave Robin the entire set of Star Trek on DVD, all all three seasons, and she watches it every time we go out in the camper. <laughs> Captain Kirk and his amazing Oscar-winning. <laughs> Oh, I just shut. I shut the Todd. I just shut shut the dust collector off. Oh, that's how it. It yeah. The oil. I once I start sanding with the oil, I shut it off. 
yeah, it's many of pieces of sandpaper here gone through. Well, I can't touch the drum now, Jamie, because Jamie wants me to pound on this drum. It, Jamie has done enough things to not deserve the drum beat, too. Referring to Star Wars as Star Trek and... All right, all right, oh. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. <laughs> Jamie, uh, Jamie said, think, oh, about doing it after, yeah. Jamie, I think he gave it to Robin before, but she didn't think you Brits could handle a Star Trek marathon. So she felt sorry for you. All right, there we go. So that's the in inner sleeve that's going to go inside of it. And I don't have the actual, the other box. I wish I did. That way I could actually show you what, what it looked like when it was all done. All right, Jake. Yeah, remember that? No remote? Insane. Now now I think they're just it's all on your phone. Yeah, I just I made my little brother do it. Turn it back to Charlie's Angels. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. We're gonna true it up and then we're gonna go ahead and drill another hole in this one that this thing will slide into. Just barely though. Maybe I, I cut them about the same size. Hmm, hmm, all right. Uh-oh, I can hear Robin feverishly typing. Eh. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Same thing here. I'm just going to go ahead and true it up real quick and then we'll then we'll start. Hollowing it out. So I think Jamie was uh, Jamie asked the question this morning on Saturday morning cartoons. I'll ask it again. What would uh, people like to see on the next one? We do them every other month. Any anybody or any other kind of craft would you like to see? A couple little flat spots left there. Oh, I do remember the party line. We never had one when I was growing up as a kid. Robin did. We n we never had the party line, but I remember going to other people's house, you know, and they and they still had it. Yeah, we didn't have one. <laughs> we. Who was it? Who said the rabbit ears? Lawrence? So we have cable or like regular TV out in the living room, but in our bedroom, we still have rabbit ears. <laughs> and we, depending on what time of the year it is, we have to move them around to get, get reception. Yeah. So we still have rabbit ears. No aluminum foil on them, though. 
we watch me TV every night when we go to bed. Perry Mason and Carol Burnett. Not for very long though, like 10 minutes I usually fall asleep. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this one in the chuck and I'm going to grab a, I'm going to actually make a little spot for a tenon on it because um, I'm going to need to grab this in the chuck and I'm going to need to actually turn a little bit of it. So I'm making a little tenon down here to use in the jaws. Same process here. What, uh, anybody, anything anybody would like to see on the next one? Anybody say anything? Oh, there. <laughs> oh, that's right. Talking about the operator. Yeah, my, you know, it's funny because I was, uh, we used to, yeah, go down to the store all the time, call for the time from the pay, from the phone booth, figure out what time we had to be home or whatever. But it was, it's funny, my aunt was an operator for like 30 years or something, and she lived at the other end of the state, and I grabbed the phone one time, and she answered, and I recognized her voice, <laughs> and, oh, was funny we got a kick out of that one okay I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here real quick I'm gonna true the face of this up and we'll grab a forstner bed I'm gonna turn the dust collector back on for a sec How we doing on uh, time? Just clean up that up so that the Forstner bit sits on there nice and flat. And we'll put that right back in there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a little bigger. Oh. Oh. Oh, we are last. That's right. All right. So I'm gonna grab a bigger Forstner bit. It's not quite big enough, but it's it's pretty close. So I'll, and then I'll just clean up. Let me clean it up as I go. But I'll use this one. They just. Forstner bit goes pretty quick with stuff like this. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna Boring Oregon, how you doing? We're right up the street or down the street. We're in Sherwood. Robin grew up in Sandy. Well, she, yeah, first just outside of Boring and then out on Tickle Creek, and then they moved to Sandy. All right. 
you just kind of go in. Same thing, I have the lathe speed turned down about, about 200 or so. I'm just going nice and slow. And you can see I still have quite a bit of wall thickness there, but I have to open it up just a little bit, so it might be okay when I'm done, but I might have to take off a little bit of material. And then once it starts to plug up a little bit, just back it off and start over. And then once I get in there, down in here, I'll, I'll grab the tape measure and, and start figuring out exactly where the bottom is. I have a, a friend that's the, the police chief in Sandy. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're, I don't know, probably about 40 minutes away from Sandy now. What was he inside? Oh, Jamie, it's called Oregon Coast. You'll be all right. Good times. Just a little sneaker wave and Jamie got scared. <laughs> all right, we want to go in to this thing five inch oh i'm gonna i'm gonna back it off a little bit four four and three quarter so what is four and three quarter it's exactly to the edge of that right there can you see that or am i off camera where am i at right there right to the back of that so we'll just keep working our way down we're really close Jamie, if you if you don't know in the chat, Jamie's English, so that they don't know how to make pancakes. They were very just fascinated the fact that you make pancakes with just water. It's Nabisco. It's magic. Jamie, you gotta admit they were delicious. All right, I'm gonna get this, the tailstock out of the way here real quick. Give me a second. Tipping this over back here. Okay. Now we can come around here. Oop. All right, have a good one. Thank you for stopping by. All right. Now we're going to use the easy wood, the rougher, the square one. And we're going to just go in here. And when you're going down with it, just keep an eye on the on the toolbar here, too. So you can actually just see if, make sure it's going in straight. 
Crank the lathe speed back up. And just work her way right down that wall. So, and you can see see as it's going in, it went to, it, to, I'm just gonna exaggerate, but you can see it as it goes like that, it's pulling away from the wall. So, just try and keep that, that bar as close as you can. And then we'll grab the other tube and just keep testing it with this so that we can get it just a nice fit in there. All right, and the lay speed two is back up at at two uh, about 2,500 now. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just get this lip right right here first, and then I'll work, work my way down. But I want to get that figure out exactly where it is. There we go. And then we can use that as a as a gauge. Tell, tell Jamie if he's not nice, I'm going to start singing and scare everybody away. Getting close. Jake said, sing a Star Trek song. Oh, did it, were there any? Oh, Jamie, 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 Jamie. Um, no, it's the, the noise is the cutter because I'm like, I'm this far out over the tool rest and that's what the noise is. I'm making a little box and Jamie and Jake are picking on me while I do it. And the wood is not talking to me. It's walnut. I don't want to make it too big, so I'm just going nice and slow. And this this one has some nice sapwood out here and some uh, some uh, heartwood, so it's gonna be very nice. I want to, yeah, I want a nice fit in there. Get a little bit more.
If what? Oh yeah, right? Everybody reads the sign, but but no five dollars. Jake made it. So I guess Jake is the only one that doesn't have to pay, I guess. Jamie or Jake, can you make Jamie pay though? <laughs> you got a point there. If they're not picking on me, something's wrong. Yes, it, uh, the cutter, yeah, it's the rougher. It's a square tip. Yep. All right. That's good. And then we're going to, the lid is going to go, go over that. So we'll just, that's good enough. It's got a, a little more than a quarter of an inch, but we're going to put a, put a lid on it too, and we'll just recess it in. So just like that. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and sand up this real quick. Oh, go ahead and just run through a couple of grits real quick, and then we'll, then we'll uh, turn this dust collector off. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, guys. But you, you don't have to pay for Jamie's mistakes. <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate it. get some oil on this and then we'll make the lid it's a court Robin said it's quarter tell she is keeping track she said you can go over I'm just gonna keep telling you what time it is though <laughs> Uh, Karen, yes, I am. I'm going to round that over. So I ran that Forstner bit right down to that lip there, but because of the wall thickness right there, it'll give me plenty of room to round that over, and I could I could uh, just kind of round the whole th whole thing over. So, but I just want to sand this part up f first, so that I can get right around here in the face of it before I uh, before I flip it around. So even when I'm doing like bowls or boxes, I always like sand half of it and then flip it around and sand the, sand the bottom. Ah. Headphones falling out. All right. What did Jamie say? Oh, Jamie. See that? He like... He's trying to be mean and nice at the same time. About my custom, one-of-a-kind vacuum system. And he doesn't mean it. He's heard the story a thousand times. I'll, I'll show it at the end. The sliding vacuum system. It does. It works fantastic. All right. Let's get some oil on that now. And... We'll get a little bit of oil on the inside too. Let me uh, 
hang on, let's switch cameras real quick so I can get a get a better view of it. Let me shut the dust collector off. Oh, who said? <laughs> yes, Jeff, Jamie should respect his elders. Huh. I'm not sure how to take that, though. All right, lace be down. <laughs> I'll, I'll show it at the end. It's just. Every time somebody asks about the dust collection system, I show it to them and tell them, and Jamie's always picking on me about the dust collection set, set up. Well, whatever. It works. That's all that matters. It works. Karen, this is walnut oil. Uh, is it coming into focus? It's doctor's walnut oil, and it works fantastic. Just... Brings out the natural color of the wood. I usually run through a couple of get grits dry like that, like just like I did, and then I switch over uh, and then run through with the, all the way up to 600 with the, with the walnut oil. And you can see it just really just brings out all the color and the grain and everything. Two two wrong two wrongs don't make a right or one wrong one wrong and one right don't make a right, Jake. Don't encourage Jamie, Jake. All right, yeah. So with the oil, I I use it all the time because it eliminates all that that dust you know a bunch of the dust from from uh, sanding oh yes yes Karen it, it is awesome I love it I use it use it all the time I don't put any shellac in in uh, in mine um, but I do use like a pins plus and I think in it has shellac in it Three brights make a left. Hmm. <laughs> oh. All right. Uh, maybe a box for a... Oh, what, what I'm making? Um, oh, um, no, I'm actually... It's actually just like a lidded box and... So there's going to be a lid out here. So you pull it open and I'll show you real quick how I get the hole. There's going to be a hole right there in the center of it, but I will show you that as soon as we, as soon as we get this done. I'll, I'll show you real quick. All right. So let's pop it out of the chuck, finish off the bottom. <laughs> that now Connie, that should be a shirt. Don't encourage Jamie. Connie, I want that shirt. <laughs> All right. All right. And and I know I know the question. What chuck is that, right? Somebody somebody already asked that. If not, Jamie will in a second here. All right. I'm gonna bring the tailstock back up to hold on to it while we round that over right there all right hang on a sec i gotta get this over oh all right and then i'll put the live center back in so i leave it like loose on the on the chuck until you get that that in there live center and that centers everything up, and then then I tighten up the jaws. Oh yeah, it's a easy wood chuck. 
So it's the jaws are all interchangeable. There's you don't have to put them back in the right right uh, position. There's no Allen screws. Yeah, it's super slick. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the same thing. I'll take that number one hollower and clean up clean up the foot real quick. And, J and Todd, you know that's not true. Todd said, how, asked Jamie how fast he could change the jaws and the chuck. And you know for a fact, we have like video proof. I think I'm in the Guinness Book of World's Records for changing the jaws in under 10 seconds. Oh, J Jamie, don't even threaten me because you're coming back over here to, we are graciously letting you back in the United States of America this spring. And so it will be done. There's, you're not getting out of it. So you might want to like I don't know, come up with an excuse of why your passport wouldn't work or something or why you can't come over. It's on now. No, oh, yeah, I did one, uh, I don't know, yeah, it was, I don't know, six, eight months ago, I think I, I did one. It might have been longer than that. I'd say six or eight months, and so I did a, a video the other day, the piercing video, and I, I told Robin, I, I go, oh, I'm going to look up some pictures. I did a video a couple of years ago. I went back and looked. It was eight years ago I did the last video on the piercing. It felt like two or three. There we go. So the the pin from this is sticking in there a little bit, so I need to bring that down and get rid of that hole that's in the back side of it. Yeah, Jamie, if you, you better start practicing because if you can't beat me at the the chuck jaw challenge, we're going to deport you. <laughs> oh, look at that. I just popped through the bottom. Oh. Huh. Oh, I'm never going to hear the end of this. I can I can just feel it. I can feel the force. I'm feeling the force. I can hear the chat right now. <laughs> oh, oh. How you guys doing? All right. Oh. Who who said in the chat? How are you gonna How are you gonna round that over? <laughs> Apparent apparently not very well all right so i'm going to do a plug and all right it's, it's an easy fix turn the lay speed down hey and then i get to sand this part of it back here what Right? Zach, bring over some resin. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're, that's, Jamie, where? <laughs> All right. We're going to take this out of here and make a plug for it. Huh. Can, can you see that? There you go. It's a bottomless box. It literally the bottomless box. All right. Now I need to find a piece of wood. Hang on. All right. Let me round up 
Peace, peace up. <laughs> Jake does. <laughs> Starbond. Yes, he does. Starbond glue. Oh, Starbond discount code. Uh, hang on. I need to find a chunk of wood. Oh. Mm, yes, I will use the same as I'm making the lid, but I need to find a piece. Yeah, yeah. All right, where? How's everybody doing? You, you guys, Robin's not saying anything, so I don't feel like everybody's being that me mean. Uh, yes, we're going to use, uh, for the plug, I'm going to use a piece of contrasting wood. It's going to be maple burl, but i got to find a little flat piece of it, a little piece of maple that'll, that'll match the lid. And I already have the lid, and it's not... Oh, dead rides. Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> uh... All right. All right, I'm just going to use this. Double double ended box I could. Hang on. Okay, we're going to do that. Huh. Where did the little tool go? I'm losing it now. I lost my mojo and my little thing for the to take the jaws out. Now I'm yeah. Hang on a sec. Oh, Jamie, that's so not cool. All right, I'm just Switch the camera back so you guys can see my see my tears. There we go. Well, this is a good way to end it. I'm two minutes over, so we already ended it. It came apart, right? Uh, uh, all right, all right. I'm hang hang with me here. We're going to, uh, no, Bonnie, I was just trying to find a piece of wood that is going to match the, the, um, the lid. So we're going to use this. So, I mean, people got, oh, Zach, oh. All right, Zach, have a good one. It's, it's going to fit, and it's going to look amazing. All right. right now we're going to take this right here. Just clean this up a little bit. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up a... <laughs> Thank you, Zach. Have a good one, brother. All right, so went through the bottom of it. It doesn't matter whether it's a bowl or whatever this is, a tube. You just turn a little plug for it. We're just going to slowly, it's really close right there, so I'm just going to sand this down to right when it fits in there. And then we'll put a little bit of glue on it. We'll make the lid. The glue won't take very long to set up. And we'll be able to turn, put it right back on the lathe the way I had it when it when the whole debacle happened. And we'll be able to turn off that, that plug. But let me go ahead and... Yes, I know it's crazy. Even people on YouTube make mistakes. It's weird. It's weird, wild stuff. It's just not natural. 
Oui. Oui. Oh. All right, all right, hang on. See, I'm flustered now, and I don't know why. Okay. All right, Robin said, Robin said, just relax. It's a good opportunity to show him how to fix it. Don't care that Jamie's still laughing at you. I said, okay, okay. Yeah. If Jamie's not nice, I'm going to start singing Gilligan's Island. All right. We're really, really close. So I'm just sanding like just that little part right back in there. Jamie, you're a mistake. The whole Jamie, Jamie's super mean. What did you make, Jamie? Because I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. All right, there we go. Okay. We're good to go. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pick on Jamie. It's just easy. All right, all right. Let's put a little bit of wood glue on that. face of it. Put that right on there. Just like that. All right. Now we can. Oh, did Jamie make a bowl without a hole? Without a hole. A bowl without a hole. Whatever. <laughs> yes, it's mustard. It's, that's, that's what we use here in Ori Oregon. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, yes. This is uh, French's mustard. This is t top of the line. And the, it's just type on too. But the, their bottles suck. So clean out a mustard bottle. It, they work fantastic. I've been using this one for years. French's mustard. <laughs> oh. All right. All right. Let's get the lid on here. I'm getting I'm getting beat up today. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, has anybody ever made a uh, bottomless box before? Or am I the only one? Let me know. Come on. There's got to be some other bottomless boxes out there. Does, does that count as the the funnel club, even though it's not a bowl? Oh yeah, the the glue is it, or the mustard. It's it is fantastic. It yeah, and it just it clean. It keeps it clean, and 
I, I've been using the same model for, I don't know, three or four years now. And I just, I have a jug of tight bond over there and I just keep filling it up. All right, uh, roughing gouge. I'm going to clean that up again real quick. Find my puzzle boxes. Pu uh, Bonnie said puzzle box. I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. I said, I said, has anybody made a bottomless? Oh, dear. I, I said bottom, bottomless box. Has anybody ever made a bottomless box? I think that's what I... Exactly. Just like motorcycle riders. Those that have gone down and those that are going to go down. <laughs> All right, let me crank speed up here. Oh, yeah, I've done that before, too. I actually did one years ago where I I was finishing up sanding with, like, 320 or 400, and it broke through. It was, like, that thin. There's a little hole in the center of it. Yeah, it's a... It's a... It was actually just, like, a bigger piece of wood, and there was one little burl on it, so I just cut it out. Okay. There we go. And we'll go ahead and get that in the chuck. And then turn the... Oh, yeah, yeah, Robin, yes, said, how's everybody's weather doing? Heard back east, you guys are getting, getting hit with all the snow and everything. We had it a week or so ago, and I guess it worked its way back to you guys. You're back east. All right. Yeah, it was, it's been been beautiful here now for a couple of days, but it was, yeah, a little cold, but but beautiful blue sky. All right, let's set that. Uh, where Bonnie misses the snow. Where's where you at, Bonnie? All right, I'm gonna turn. Oh, 19. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Yeah, that's, uh, you gotta learn how to fall. So I, I actually, my, I didn't have a car. My first mode of transformation was a motorcycle. And, uh, so my, stepdad took me out in the out in the pasture and said you well if you're gonna ride this around on the street you'll need to learn how to lay it down and I had just gotten it and he, he told me he goes I'll fix whatever you break and I went out in the pasture and practiced laying the bike down he replaced the mirrors and stuff on it and yeah Five degrees in Pennsylvania. Holy cow. <coughs> well, Bonnie, you're not far from us. Yeah, you don't get much snow in Oakland. <laughs> I 
Yeah, yeah. Today was just amazing. Just beautiful blue sky, about 60 here. All right. Oh no, Lake Michigan. Yeah, it's well, you're, you're probably used to it back there more than we are. Yeah, we get we get a lot. Eighty one. Wow, that's insane. In Guam, yeah, we get a lot of rain up here, but not not much snow. All right, so I'm just using the calipers to judge where that is going to be. We'll just bring it down slowly, sneak up on it. Jamie, I thought you were gone. I thought Jamie left. <laughs> Oakland Riders. <laughs> oh, Jamie, don't start. I do have an ongoing bet with Brian in Kansas City, and I lost again. We have an ongoing bet of which team will end the season with the worst record, either Kansas City or the Raiders. And it's obviously neither one of them are going like to like the Super Bowl or anything. So we just have a bet who ends the season with the worst record. So I lost I lost again. So I have to do a Kansas City project. Two degrees. Wow. Insane. Nineteen. Well, I won't complain that it got down to forty then. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Seven, 70s is perfect. All right. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and turn that, and then we'll glue that on there. All right. All right. Minus 14 in Pittsburgh. That is crazy. <laughs> Go Chiefs. Alright, alright. I know. I think Brian made the bet with me because he, he knows he was never going to have to do a Raiders project. And when I was growing up, they were actually really good. And, Went to the Super Bowl a bunch of times. And I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, it's 70 degrees in the shop. Too. <laughs> All right, I'll... Uh... There you go. See a little bit better. Luckily, we're not going to have time to do any singing today. Because of a little mishap. All right, I 
think that's a little sharp there. I'm making the lid right now. This is the lid for the box. And then we're going to part it off and actually turn it around and put it in the in the chuck the other way. Oh, let me grab this. It's going to be going to be midnight before we get off. Yeah. bring this down and make a little jam chuck and we'll turn the turn the top of that off mm -mm -mm. hang on I need to fix my earbud again says I have to keep talking see I'm not I'm not good if I don't have like questions coming at me because then I just like forget that anybody's there you have to keep asking me questions or anything about the weather all right I mean I'll just like keep turning Close, close. All right, there we go. That is perfect. All right. So, is anybody planning on going to any symposiums, meetups this year? I know we got. We got the AWs coming up that we're going to, and uh, and then we'll be at in Waco, Texas, in August. Does anybody have any shows they're gonna gonna be at? I sharpen the parting tool I use um, oh this one is this is the easy wood one it it doesn't sharpen it's cardboard or cardboard it's carbide you don't sharpen it just when it does wear out you just re replace the cutter yeah I uh, Karen, I've been turning for oh, I think 25 years. Yeah, quite a, quite a while. It was in my early 20s, I think, or mid tw mid 20s. Yeah, it's turning is a is a blast. You just, you can, there's just so many different things you can do with it. it super creative. Where is the wood storage? It is, um, I, we have, like, right behind that wall right there is a, uh, we have a little, like, lean-to, or I don't know what you call it, but it comes off the, this is the shop, on the back side of it, little lean-to that comes down, and I have all the wood stored there. And then I have, like, 55-gallon uh, barrels where I store a bunch of wood in water, too. So, and those are just, just out. Uh, the AW this year is in, where is it, Kentucky, um, 
is it in where is it it's I can't remember exactly where it's at but I think it's in I think it's in Kentucky Can somebody look it up real, real quick yeah I think I think it's Kentucky Tennessee Tennessee Oh, Chattanooga, that's what it is, right? Yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, we'll... We'll be there. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so, wood dust. Oh man, sorry Karen. Yeah, it really is. It's uh, just super, you know, I mean you can just kind of get out here and just, just focus on it. it. It really is. And you're just watching, you know, the piece come to life. I just did, uh, I don't know if you heard the organization, it's called Vets Turn. So I did a demo for them a couple of, a couple of weeks ago. And it is, it's super relaxing and just, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just, I, I love just putting a, a raw piece of wood on the lathe and just, you know, in no time at all you have, have it turned into something. And just being able to watch it, watch it come to life right before you is. I love that part of it. Alright, All right, I'm almost done with this. Okay, and then I'll, I'll show you real quick. Let me let me just get some oil on this and then I will I'll show you how I how to make the the little drawer. We were supposed to be done a, a while ago. <laughs> oh well, right? Okay, let me turn the dust collector off. Ooh. One more one more grit. Real quick. And then I'll shut the dust collector off. Right. Oh, that's awesome, Karen. That is so cool. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I've, I, I, my grandpa got me into woodworking years ago, but he wasn't a wood turner. And I, I just, I kind of got into this and I just, I, I don't know. It's just something about, something about it where you can just create something, you know, in a short amount of time and, and just watch it, you know, literally just, it's kind of like pottery just be formed, you know, right in front of you. So put a little bit of oil on this and then I'll I'll uh, I'll uh, show you how I do the do the box part real quick we want we don't have to turn the plug it's pretty straightforward we're gonna I'll turn the turn the little plug off put some pictures up but same thing I did before just without the hole Let me 
and do one more grip here real quick. And then we'll Now I'll show you the other thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, shop shop class was was uh was fun. I, it's funny. I didn't even really do any any turning in in shop class. I just uh, I don't know why. I made I I think I used the lathe a couple of times in shop class, and I just uh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't didn't get into it sooner. Yes, this is uh, is uh, walnut oil. It's doctor's walnut oil, and it's like. Uh, Oh, I, I can't remember what it is. It's like a triple filtered, food safe, food grade walnut oil. So it's it's actually, even people with walnut allergies, there's no protein in it. So you can literally drink this stuff. It's it's not, there's nothing. The protein in, in walnuts is what causes the allergies or what, what reacts to the allergies. And this is like, it's like triple filtered something, but... I love it. It works fantastic, and it just really, you know, richened up, richens up the wood. And then you just to dry it. I didn't do it on the other pieces, but you just bump the speed up. This helps speed up the whole drying process. Just like that. Kentucky, how you doing, Jeff? All right, I'm gonna put that. I'll glue that on. But let me, I'm gonna, let me move the camera real quick, and I'm gonna hang on. I have to move something, but I'll get set up, and I'll show you. I use an oscillating sander to make the little pocket in there. But give me, give me just a second. I know I've been asking you to give me a second the whole time. I'll try and keep talking. I could sing while I come over here and and set this up but nobody wants that Jamie probably already went to bed it's like three in the morning over there all right all right hang on a sec uh. what a mess whose idea was it to not have all this stuff s set up so I so I could just come over here and do it that was that was mine idea all right all right hang on Just bear with me because it's super easy and then I'll oh J Jamie's still up all right well thanks for hanging in there all right let's grab this Oh, Dale, it's, they're, they're a lot of fun. It's, and I'm not sure where you're at, but there's, there's some smaller symposiums around. There's, there's actually a really good one in uh, Waco, Texas. If you're close to that, it's, uh, it's called SWAT, Southwest Wood Turners Association. Something like that, but it is, it's amazing. All right. Hang on, there we go. Okay, I got the camera set up. Okay. So, this is the oscillating sander, and all you do is hold it up against there, and it cuts a nice, nice spot in it.
You can make it as big as you want. You can go down it. I'll just do a small one for this. But. Yeah, cutting it out by hand is, you know, you have to cut it out and then sand all the little corners of it. But this works so much better. And you just hold it in the same spot. It's a eraser for it. Cleans the sandpaper. I'll just do one little spot here, but all right. Oh, hang on one, hang on one sec. Let me turn off the dust collector here real quick. Okay. Is this piece for sale? I, well, I haven't finished it yet. Let me, if I get it finished, I'll put it up on the Etsy store. But let me make sure it's going to be all right. <laughs> Before Chris... Jake's falling asleep. Jake, seriously? Isn't there a football game or something on? Okay. There. We're done. All right. So what it does is it actually is just like a perfect little thing. But like on the other one I did on the video, I opened it up and went down on both sides. So you just keep running the oscillating sander, keep going down this way or that way, and it'll make a nice little drawer in there. And then when this all goes together, you got a little box there, and you open it up, and you have a drawer inside of it. So it's, it's actually just an easy way to make a lidded box that looks a little different than, than all the rest of them. And then the, the cap will actually go on it. So hang on a sec. The whole thing will slide all together like that. And then you can pull on this and it will pull out the drawer. But I will, I'll get, the, get it fixed first before we get too far into it. <laughs> um, let me see. I, let me get it done first. And if I do, I'll... I'll post it up on on the Etsy store but well if you're still here is anybody still here Robin's gonna gonna tell me okay <laughs> well thank you for hanging around our bottomless box right <laughs> uh, yeah I'll get it I'll get it finished and and get some pictures up and and yeah I just want to I don't want to Say yes, it's for sale until I get it done and make sure it's all, it's all right. But yeah, we'll get some get some pictures up on Instagram too. Again, thank you for everybody that hung in all day at watching the craft festival. Um, and we, again, we'll it, uh, every we're doing it every other month. If you have any ideas, please let us know. And everybody that participated this time too, thank you so much, guys. There were so many great makers doing different stuff. It was a lot of fun. All right. I'm going to go before I get roped into singing, and it's, it's not good. It's not good. I'm a singer, not a wood turner. M wood turner, not a singer. All right. All right, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. All right, guys. Take care, and have a great rest of your weekend. Stay warm if you're back east. It's freezing back there. All right. Have a good one, man. Take care.